Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you. All right, welcome to episode three of 15 Minutes of Genius. We had an awesome last couple episodes. Uh, we had my, uh, my buddy Mark Samuel from I Want Organics and also Ned Weiser, and we're rolling right in to episode three. So uh, what is the 15 Minutes of Genius really about? It's about bringing on amazing entrepreneurs with amazing stories, and they can also provide insight, feedback, tidbits, whatever, just to help entrepreneurs that are in this torrential storm of creating their own food and beverage company. And we're, I'm still in the storm myself. So I am super excited to introduce my guests. Right before getting into that, just want to make a quick plug for uh, my buddy, Mark Nicholas, uh, and his email, markn at manhattanbeachstudios.net. He is the one putting on this entire production. It's from, if you couldn't tell from the title, in Manhattan Beach, California, not too far from where I live, which makes it easy. And so uh, anyway, Mark N at ManhattanBeachStudios.net. All right, man, I am beyond pumped right now. So I am proud to introduce my good friend of Vive Organic. He's a co-founder, J.R. Simich. Here's a little intro on him. As a sales leader, strategist, and co-founder, JR believes each day is an opportunity to inspire and make a difference. He's passionate about providing value to their customers every day. By drawing from a wide range of experiences, including an ocean lifeguard, EMT, founding an organic farming, co farming company, and as a sales manager for startups, he has been able to think out of the box and provide real solutions. As a team member, he is committed and believes fostering a culture of passion and joy is the key to success. JR, how's it going, my friend? I'm pumped to be here. Awesome, I man. Yeah, thanks for making it down. So just a real quick thing. We'll get right into it in your story. Vive is the number one selling refrigerated wellness shot in the country, uh, doing millions in revenue. You started it about, I think, four or five years ago. So it's relatively young for how far you've got. I just really, I want to hear your story about how Vive started. Mm -hmm. And also, I know that's how we met. We met through the space as well. So I want to hear more about that. So let's roll right into it, man. Let's roll. 2015, we, we started at the end of the year. I think we got on shelf April 2016. Wyatt, my co-founder, he as a serial entrepreneur. We went to school with Kyle, our other co-founder at the University of San Diego. Um, we were friends. I, I would have never told you, like, we're going to work together. We're going to start a company together. I was, we were just friends and I always followed, you know, people that I wanted to be like, people that inspired me, people that pushed me to be a better person. And Wyatt and Kyle were definitely two, two of those um, people in college. And time rolled on. I went and did a long list. Some of those things you talked about, I, I went right into full-time lifeguarding. I felt like that was going to be my career path. I quickly pivoted, realized like I wanted to go down the path where the future's unknown. Like I kind of knew what was set up there. So making that pivot for me and kind of going into the field of entrepreneurship, it was just so exciting, right? You, you don't know what's going to happen. You know that you have to create your own luck. And I wanted to create my own luck. I wanted to get out there and, and see what, see what was going to happen. So started a, a, a startup, failed, ended up on my mom's couch, was very in debt, extremely in debt from the startup. And what, it, what was the uh, startup? The organic farm. So it was on early days in the cannabis space. It was, you know, it was a little bit too, too early, too early. You, it, it, Wyatt always says it's like riding a wave, like, like a surfer, right? You have to have catch it right at the right time. And that one, I was just a little bit too behind, uh, behind the wave. And I went and started a travel company with a friend. It was my friend's company. He had an opportunity to open up a new region in Santa Barbara. I went and did that. I, I started it from zero dollars in sales, grew the company, learned a lot what I learned at that first startup and from lifeguarding and kind of kept applying, you know, what I was learning along the road to the next venture. Wyatt had always been really close with, he was going through some health issues from just, you know, like us, we always talk about our, our, our mental health and our personal health from really pushing the limits on the far as like entrepreneurship and working really hard. He got to a very low point. He reached out to 
a few different doctors. They're all right here on the box. Super proud of that. Every single box. Right Dr. Elliot right here in New Mexico. Dr. Suhas out of Santa Cruz. And Dr. Allen right here mm, out of show UCLA. show it to the camera. So you can see they're, the doctors. On, they're on the back of our box. If you yep. ever want to check them out in store, they're a big part of our story because Wyatt reached out to him about what he was going through. And they had some, you know, what would be considered at the time non-traditional forms of in, of life improvement. They they put him on a full regime, and I, I just saw the vigor in him and how he was feeling and how he recovered. He had ran a conference for Flow Water, his company, and mm-hmm. I was helping him with sales. A lot of time, entrepreneurs they gather all their friends to help in the early stage, right? right? It's so the only way to do it. Yeah, he was at my mom's house. We were all we had all his friends. We put on a conference at the convention center in L.A. and. We were selling the water machines, and then a few, I think a year later, he had hired a CEO to take over the company. He was like, meet me in San Francisco. I want to talk to you about something. It's very important. Can you come up this weekend? Drove up, met him for tea. We sat down, much like we're sitting down, and he had he had been speaking to me about the idea, but when he pulled out the business plan, he had a five-year plan like laid out, like completely laid out. I immediately saw the vision, and I noticed that one thing was that with partners, I would have been crazy to walk away from that moment because I could tell he really cared about me as a person. And I was like, I had had some experiences in the past with people that maybe, you know, maybe try to take advantage or kind of some, some opportunities. Mm-hmm. And I was just really wanted to work with good people, good people, good product and placement. The three P's I always like to call it. You know, we had the people, we had um, kind of Kyle was doing some startups. He was running operations for and Kyle's Plum the other co-founder. He's the other co-founder, mm-hmm. and he was running operations for Plum Organics, which I'm heard, sure you've heard their stories. For mm-hmm. you, for those of you that don't know, that was an extremely successful scale-up baby food company, first baby food company in the pouches. Yeah, and it was started by the uh, previous CEO of Rebel, uh, Cheryl. O'Loughlin, right? Yeah, she was involved. One, of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I haven't gotten the opportunity to meet her. I'd love me, to meet me her. Yeah. Meet, <laughs> love to meet her one day. And Kyle sure, sure worked close with her, so he was very involved in the operations. We were lucky to have him come over on our team as the third co-founder to run up operations. As you know, it's, you're amazing to me because you do all three things. You do what Wyatt does, what I do, and what Kyle does. So I'm always very impressed by that. And in 2015. I started networking. The first person that I heard about in the industry was you through Danny Held, through my friend. Yeah. He was like, I know this guy, Alex. He's a copy machine, machine. (laughs) Like he sells like a machine and he just started this juice company and it's blowing up. And I went straight to the first store. He told me where I can get it. I bought a couple and I fell in love with the product. Fell in love with the product. Called, I think I got his number from you. And I I remember when I first called you because you answered the phone. I was like, I texted Wyatt and Kyle. I was like, I got a hold of Alex from Genius Juice. <laughs> the Genius Juice guy. We we started rapping and you were kind of helping. We kind of just had that organic relationship. And it was it was know. cool how we connected as well. Yeah. We were like we grew up in the same hometown. Yeah, same hometown. Pals Verdes. Yeah. Both live in Redondo Beach. Yep. And for those that don't know, um, I was selling uh, copiers mm-hmm. um, a year before I started Genius Juice. One of my um, Apparently selling a co- lot of them. Yeah. I, I don't know. For a, an age where everyone's doing scanning and no one's copying paper anymore, Yeah, I really uh, made off pretty well. Yeah. Um, I sold the Gable House Bowl. Yep. I sold just the random companies in this area, all businesses that I already knew. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, from meeting, I met Danny Held at that company. He was a coworker of mine. Mm-hmm. And then I, I actually didn't know that was the connection to you yeah. until more recent. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I couldn't remember how you got in touch with me. Of course. But that was it. Yep. So, yeah. And you still, I guess Danny's still here, right? He's still in the South Bay. Danny's still here. He's yeah. a great guy. I love when I, whenever I run into him, I smile. Yeah. So I wanted to, I wanted to ask you, um, I wanted to really dig into just the category in general. Because you were course. talking about it earlier before. I love the metaphor on catching the wave at the right time being, yep. you know, in beautiful Southern California. How did you know that it was the right timing? to get into wellness shots? Like what gave you, was it an intuition? Was it market data or? 
That's a great question. And I think a little data, a little intuition, a little all of that mixed up stirred into a big soup, right? We started doing an extreme amount of market research. We were visiting um, all different types of accounts from Jamba Juice to Juice Bar, seeing what was happening. Wheatgrass really started the category. I mean, my mom used to push wheatgrass shots on me and would make me take the two ounce shot with the little orange slice, the chaser. Right, right. That's the original wellness shot. And that category was proven out really in the juice bars. And if you think about it, it was served in the Dixie cup with the orange slice. You could, you can never really take it out of the location. Wyatt recognized something when he, fa he found a ginger turmeric pineapple shot homemade in Florida when he was on a work conference for flow water. And essentially it was like a aha moment, right? Mm -hmm. Where he was like, he texting everyone he grew up in hawaii so he's used to powdered ginger the doctors had, were, had been recommending like different ginger and turmeric supplements but something of about the fresh turmeric and ginger like you see it in these shots like it burns you feel it like you feel it you feel your you feel your whole body like kind of working after you take one of these shots and it was really that moment that we looked at and we're like, this is, this is an opportunity to take something that was originally the Dixie cup with wheatgrass. Then they started selling ginger, just a hundred percent ginger, or ginger and pineapple or ginger and lemon with a little cayenne and mm -hmm. it started call it being called the wellness shot. And right. Concentrated, fresh, powerful ingredients, herbs. And we really wanted to create a category. There was, there was like a nut well, I think there was one or two other brands nationally. Right mm -hmm. now, there's over over thirty. We think maybe yeah. thirty to forty. And a lot of them are um, trying to use the same bottle now. Uh, like they're going, they're chasing. They're, and so, yeah. like the wave concept, you know, it was right. nice to be in the early pack and really catch the wave early on. We were really building the category, and it was difficult, you know, in in the early days when we were trying to break in and get a, just a little space on the shelf. Like if even it was next to genius juice, you know, there's a little dip in the bottle. So we needed to convince retailers to maybe double stack them to be the same size over here as a genius. Mm -hmm. We were, we were using data to present to buyers on why they should bring this in. And then the category kind of started taking off in areas that I never thought it would. I moved to Chicago, as you know. And yeah, I heard about that. So tell me more about moving to Chicago. What was behind this? And also you were, you're married now, you were married. engaged. You're mar you got married yeah. as well. Yeah. Congrats. 2017. And you're recent, right? Recent. Yeah. Yes. Last year, last July. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Of course. Of it's course. It's, I couldn't it's... have done this without her. She's been such a rock for me. I think having a good family life while you're doing a startup is you know, she was working for the company, Kim, with us, and mm -hmm. Kim helped so much at the start. I'm just grateful to have had her helping yeah. us. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like, I wasn't even going to ask this question, just came to my mind yeah. on really just balance, balance. right? And it's it's been a constant struggle for me, you well, know, we've talked like about I work, that. any entrepreneur, I think it's a struggle where you're, we're so passionate about what we do, it's hard to stop. Like once we start, it's hard to stop, but it's finding a way to um, control that. Yep. And then taking energy and time and putting it into personal, putting it into family, seeing friends. There's some friends I have not seen for maybe over a year or two because I get so That's a tough lost. Thing. It's you know, hard. It, it's just a compromise and a sacrifice. Yep. How, how are you like, how are you finding that balance? Because I know you are up at 5 a.m. Yep. You're out checking stories. You're making calls, managing a sales team nationally. Yep. How do you find that balance? The balance is one of the things that comes as a necessity to keep going, right? Like we, this is something that you said, it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like work, but it's easy to push yourself too far. The balance for me, someone told me this once, a mentor, the most important meeting of the day, you know what it is? I would say, well, tell me. It's the one on yourself. Oh. That is the most important meaning of the day. Because if you can't show up for yourself and really concentrate on yourself, how are you going to inspire people? Mm. How are you going to get out and help your customers and be create that will real win-win partnership? If you're so it's like for me it, it only needs to be 30 minutes or an hour. A lot of times as an entrepreneur, you don't have more than an hour for yourself in a day, but if you really concentrate on that hour and do something like you were mentioning to me that you've been running and then jumping in the water. Perfect. That works. Do that every morning. For me, I've been getting up and walking my dog for three miles. And it just, I take my shoes off, I get in the sand and I just 
smile and realize today is going to be okay because it's all about that brick by brick mentality in this game and when we're going against these giant companies Mm -hmm. trying to break in there and just get a little slice of the pie it's like rome wasn't built in a day but also with us it's like you can only build the best brick and put it in place each day put a little mortar on top Mm -hmm. finish it off and say that that was today i did the best i could let's reset go home to the family do what you can do to feel grateful to have you know an amazing team around us and an amazing opportunity and then go on to the next day. So that's exactly. kind of how I've been thinking about it. That's a great, that's great, man. This is great stuff for any entrepreneur yeah. that's watching on how to balance that. I think like just, I heard someone say at some point, it's about putting, giving it your all during the day and having a cutoff time that when you get home, mm-hmm. it turns into family time. So it's going all in on business and also all in on family. I wanted to, um, we're, we have a couple minutes, but yeah. you have a quick point. How hard is that with COVID? I mean, a lot of people are working at home right now, and there's no cutoff time. And yeah, so there's that's, no balance. It's it's a challenge right now. I'm encur- you know, I'd love to hear tips and tricks on what you've been doing too. Well, it could be a whole other conversation, but yeah. I would say it's just discipline. discipline. When, that's what it comes down to. Good. It's setting a schedule. Now, I'm guilty of not following my schedule all the time. Of course. But I say, you know what? By six, seven p.m., when the sun goes down. Yep. It's not healthy for me or in general to be on the computer, to be on the phone. It's natural to just have conversations with people or just rest, yep. let your body shut down and power up for the next day. So I would say in a nutshell, coconut shell, no pun intended, <laughs> um, it's really about learning how to rest. Mm-hmm. There's a great book called The Power of Full Engagement. The Power of Full Engagement. Yeah, and that's how to power down so mm-hmm. you can power up through the next day. You mentioned something. We're running out of time, but I wanted to quickly, maybe in about a minute, you talked about brick by brick and mortar. That's yep. a great segue into brick My and mortar. My dad was a builder, is a builder, so. Oh, wow. I kind of well, maybe stole construction. that one. Construction. I stole that one from him. But yeah. Inspired, right? It, totally. Yeah. So um, tell me just real quick, distribution. Where yep. is Vive today? Where can you find Vive? I know that you're online on Amazon. Yep. You have your website, which is Vive. Tell us your website www.viveorganic.com. Got it. And then so, um, tell us distribution. I know you guys well, crushing it. Yep. You're nationwide and many accounts. I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy to, to hear you say that. I mean, that kind of, I have to take a deep breath and realize from where we came from to where we are now. It, it, it feels good. It was a lot of hard work. Distribution, high touch, shout out to the high touch guys. Yeah, we're, Zor, both, we're, both, James. we're both with them. It all started with them. That was one of our first DSD distributors. We have um, a few others that we work closely with. Um, LAD is one of them, which we, we both work with. Um, mm-hmm. Seacoast and in, in down in San Diego. It's That helped us grow our Los Angeles distribution. We have national partnerships with UNFI and Cahey, which takes us to natural independent doors. We really love the natural channel the ncg stores the co-ops mm-hmm. we're in whole foods we have a every every whole foods in the country we're global with whole foods we started here in sopac in the local program it was a, an amazing program to be a part of we worked hard we did treated every store like it was um you know a golden opportunity which it was and you know that led to more stores we opened up nevada we opened up the arizona stores and one day we had an opportunity to sit in the Austin office with our global team now and present why this category was on the move. And now we're in um, conventional grocery stores as well that you would never think we would be selling in. Food Lion out in uh, the Southwest. Yeah, and, out, out and, yonder. And out, yeah. I mean, those are stores where I've walked into some of them and you wouldn't believe that a ginger turmeric shot or a coconut smoothie is selling. And it is. And we're bringing that wellness to the masses. And that feels really good. Exactly. I think it's it's cool that just huge props. And thank you for the compliments for yeah. Genius Juice. Yeah. It's really huge love, props. Love the original smoothie. I've been drinking that since 2015. Yeah. Yeah. You're like one of the original, the OG, yep. like uh, G, we call them the genius squad now on, yep. our, on our Instagram. I love it. But it's cool. You know, we're running out of time, but it's so cool that you took something that was in its infancy. Mm-hmm. You can only get shots at Jamba Juice. There was one other competitor that was in stores, pretty mm-hmm. much only a natural. Yep. You took this category. You not only expanded nationally in natural, yep. but brought it to 
the mainstream. You brought it to the mass market. And I really think also with COVID, you mentioned it earlier, that it accelerated also the awareness for the need of something this clean and beneficial and efficacious. So it's amazing product, man. You deserve Thank all you. the success in the world and you guys have worked incredibly hard. Uh, so I wanted to shift to our genius portion. Yep. Uh, just to tie in our brand a little bit, but I want, I want you to share um, just in a, like a minute or less, your words of genius for any entrepreneur uh, that is watching, that is building their own CPG, maybe creating a whole new category or yep. trying to find that wave that you, Wyatt and Kyle found. So what's your words of wisdom or genius to uh, everyone watching? Well, I kind of maybe um, already took up the brick by brick approach, which I spoke about. <laughs> That's very important. Yeah. Do the best you can each day. Right. On top of that, people. Surround yourself with good people. Even if it's your a solo founder or a co-founder, You, it's, it's all about the people in this, like creating those real relationships, really doing it for a greater good and for being able to inspire others. And that is key. Then the placement it's okay to say no to places in the early on you want to be not you don't have to be everywhere just you want to be where you are at the start um i have a friend that that shared that quote with me i think the placement's super important mm -hmm. and then the product do you do not compromise on your product believe in it be confident to share it with people and just know that you've created something that's special and work work hard on the product the that's a, that's i think great advice because you're, so many people are going to pick up your product and never speak with you. You're never going to be able to say a word to them. The product needs to speak for itself. Exactly. And so that's majorly important. And uh, I respect brands that do that. You could, from the first sip, tell. Exactly. The quality's so, there. The first bite or whatever it is. Yeah, a, yeah. A lot of brands out there in this food industry now. And I've gotten to meet a lot of great founders like yourself. And it's a good group of people to be surrounded by and, and uh, work with. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. And I think right place at the right time, right? Having mm -hmm. product people placement, but having the right product that's in demand is really, really crucial to really uh, hit the hit the cord for what customers are looking for. So, mm -hmm. man, um, we are we're out of time. This this flew by. This is I'm going to rename the show to 20 to 25 minutes <laughs> of genius because I was so engaged in everything you were saying and your story yeah. and just, just how you guys built this to a national brand. Um, it's no surprise why you guys are doing so well. So, um, well, JR, man, thanks for joining us. I'd like you. to take a shout out to, a shot. Totally. Shout out to yeah. Wyatt and Kyle, my co-founders who couldn't yep. be here. Maybe we can get them on another one. And yeah, thank, that's a good plug. Thank so. you. Thank you to everyone that's connected us. And then also, um, just to you for bringing me onto the show and to my team at Vive. We couldn't have done that without them. We have an amazing team that works really hard every day and, happy to be working with them and you have a, a we have some mutual connections now on your team as it continues to grow and yep. I love watching them in the field and they're really starting to accelerate and kick some genius butt exactly man it's the only way to do it yeah so yeah big shout out i see it just from distribution you and your team absolutely amazing dude so huge shoot out, sh uh, shout out i'd love let's, to take a shot with you let's do it um, i like the original here the red you go one. this is our original ginger turmeric echinacea little black pepper and all right this is my favorite the uh immunity boost with cayenne cheers man cheers all right to our health to our health it's gonna burn my throat but i'm gonna love it that is amazing Ugh, okay that puts uh i'm gonna try to talk because i got pepper in my throat that is this is genius 15 minutes of genius episode three in the books with J.R. Simich, the co-founder of the largest refrigerated wellness shot in the country, Vive Organic, in the books, ribbon on top. We're going to have a part two. So there's going to be a part two. Like, the story continues. We're going to have Wyatt, the other co-founder on, and Kyle, and J.R. will join us as well. We're going to have all three freaking geniuses. You hear that, Wyatt and Kyle? All three. Yeah. All you guys are going to be on here, even if you don't want to. You're, we're bringing you on. Love it. So, yeah. So, episode three in the books. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Mark Nicholas. Thank Mark you, Mark. Mark N. 
ManhattanBeachStudios.net. He's the one to put this entire production on. This, this studio is incredible. I think to use it for podcasting or buyer meetings or whatever is needed, this is this is truly an incredible space. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm blown. I'm still blown away every every single episode. So it, it beats doing a Zoom meeting, right? Totally. So anyway, thank you again. Uh, we're out and tune in for our next episode. We'll get into that episode four, but again, episode three in the books with J.R. Simich of Vibe Organic. Thank you very much you. and stay genius, my friends. Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you.